What's good everybody, it's your boy Jason Fox4 here. And today, you know, what? what is something we haven't done in four months that, that I really want to continue doing? Even though it may not even get that many views, but still, I want to do it because I have fun with it. And that is Break the Waifu Fighting Game Edition. So without any further ado, here we go. <laughs> The first character, I had to just throw this on this list because there's no damn way I could do it. Shimmy! It ha I had to bring in Shimmy. You had to bring her in. King of Fighters 15 is coming out soon. One of these dang days. Whenever the hell it gets their dates of time to come out. You know? Like, and I'm already, I was already sold the moment, you know, I started playing Terry and Smash. Like, the moment I started people like, oh shoot! Terry and Smash? Because I didn't know who Terry was. I was like, hmm, let me see what this game is, King of Fighters. So I bought the entire Rocha Saga like a little while ago, played it, I actually like it now. And I'm not even mad that Terry's in the game. So you know what? Let's see some more King of Fighters stuff. So when I forgot, you know, when I played KOF the Rocha Saga, I played Shermie. Shermie was kinda ish my main, kinda ish, but I really kinda had a hard time using her because I don't know how to really fight so you know it's, it's a difficult road but still when king of fighters 15 do come out i will be more than happy to play with shermy all the way through so you know I, that has something to look forward to absolutely i mean and judging from how they did her you know in 15 she looking hella good she looking good and i think she's a character that hasn't been around in a lot of king of fighters it's nice to see her ready to see what she can do in the game also i want to see what she can do in the bed because you already know shermy is fine shermy can absolutely get it she can crush a lot of things and you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time it's gonna be a fun time you can't see her eyes but you'll need to see her eyes to know that everything is gonna be great nine out of ten i, I like me some shermy let me get some more of that shermy please and while we're on the king of fighters train let's bring in yuri and I'll just go ahead and say that I say Yuri is about like a 7.5, you know, because like I like Yuri, but she kind of she reminds me of these hard headed ass people that think they can do a lot of stuff when they really can't, you know, but now Yuri is my main. I really do like how she fights in the game. I think it's she's probably one of the easier characters for me to master and play. Besides Terry, again, I do think she's a she feels like she's a bit hot-headed, in my personal opinion. But yeah, but other than that, I do like Yuri though. But Yuri, cause Yuri is kind of cute, like low key. Like if you really, really look at her, especially if you look at her alternate costumes and SNK heroines. My goodness, I mean, when you want to slap Yuri on the ass, I would. So I don't think there's anything bad with Yuri. I just feel like personality-wise, she probably could be a little hot-headed. And, you know, I like me some hot-headed women sometimes, but, you know, it, it's, it's okay sometimes. But, you know, I do think that is something that holds her back for me to put her at a good spot. But, overall, I do think Yuri is pretty nice. We need some more content of Yuri. Like, she is, like, damn near dry of content, and it's kind of sad. So, yeah, give Yuri some content, and, yeah, 7.5 7 out of 10. Alright, let's switch some gears now. To Dead or Alive... Kasumi, because I said I was going to do Kasumi in another video, so let's do it now. And Kasumi, I'd have to say 9 out of 10. Here's my reason why. Because while Kasumi is the main girl, while she is the first character that you play and whatever in the series, yeah, that's like the first girl that you get to meet and all that. I ain't gonna lie, I like Ayane better. And it can, honestly, I just do. Like, no, you're wrong. I think Kasumi is great. Like, w w if I would, if I had a chance to smash Kasumi, yes, I am taking the chance. No question. Like, I'll be happy with Kasumi if she was my wife. Like, 100%. However, I just feel like Ayane is just a little bit better. Maybe it's just because she has the purple hair. Maybe it's because she has the red eyes. I don't know. But I'm just saying, Kasumi is good. Like, there's no downside to Kasumi. But I just think personally, Ayane is better. And that's kind of weird coming from someone that likes Alpha 152 a lot. So, but anyway, 
overall, Kasumi is about a 9, I'll switch it, 9.5 out of 10. I'll, I'll give her a 9.5 out of 10. Kasumi is not bad, it's just that I think she is, you know, a little bit less than Ayane. Just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. And yeah, you know what, I'll just throw this on this list too. Marie Rose. Let, let, let's just get let's just get it out of the way. 10 out of 10. Like let, let's get her out of the way. Because yeah, while she be while she might be a little bit bratty and whatever in the game, while she might be a little trash in the game, let's be watching for songs. We already know why she gets a 10 out of 10. We already know why. There is so much content on Mary on Marie. There is so much content on her to the point that it's actually ridiculous. Now, I haven't actually played her in any in the games that I had of DOA, but I ain't gonna lie. There is a lot of content on her and Hanukkah. Like both of those two, like have two. They have. They just pretty much kill the content when it comes to DOA. Like you got some other people in DOA. Yeah, they got content. Ayane got a little bit of content too, but it's not that much on the animation side, which kind of sucks. But when it comes to Marie and it comes to Hanukkah, they have like the top tier content. They are the ones that get most of the content. I'm like, damn, can we get some more for Ayane and the other girl that I like? shoot but yeah definitely i would say 10 out of 10 for marie just because of that 10 out of 10 not even in a fighting game thing about her just a 10 out of 10 plus she do look kind of cute so i ain't gonna be mad at it the next character i'm gonna add into this is from street fighter which is makoto and i'll be honest i know makoto is like a random pick i know it's like a character that's seriously taking her training to the next level and all that and stuff and honestly, honestly, as a kid, when I saw Makoto, I saw them jiggles first before I saw her actually being able to beat my ass. So, 8 out of 10. She's kind of basic because, you know, she's kind of like just wanting to get stronger and train and stuff. Which, that's fine. But, again, Makoto's judo, karate, jiggles, they, they, they end up entrancing her boy. So... You, you know, I I I I, I had to give her a good eight. Plus, she is kind of fun to play a Street Fighter for. I, I'm just saying. Next one is Eliza from Tekken Seven, because why not? Also, because Kazuya is in now, might as well give her some shine. Also, I didn't know a damn thing about her just a few days ago. Until a few days ago, she been out for about four years, and I haven't known anything about her. Well, technically she was in Tekken Revolution, but I didn't know anything about that game. So, and seeing her in this one, it's just like, dang, where the hell have I been for the last four years? Why didn't nobody tell me that she even existed? So, yeah, when I seen Aliza, absolutely thought she was beautiful. I passed by her during the DLC screen and never actually just picked her up and trained until a few days ago. And I ain't gonna lie, I was like, you know what? Damn, she is fine i didn't think i didn't think someone with short hair and long hair at the same time was gonna be you know really good but she is so basically honestly i'm gonna have to give her a 10. look there's plenty of things in play here not just the fact that she's kind of cute when she sleeps and i think she has a narc she's narcoleptic or something that causes her to go to sleep a lot but also one good and cool inf information Kind of disgusting, but also kind of sexy at the same time. The type of information I found out is basically anytime she drinks blood because she's a vampire, she, her boobs will grow bigger. Anytime. They, the, the blood will just fill up to her boobs. That is disgusting, but at the same time, that is also very sexy and I would like to see. So, yeah. You know what? That that's That is already just 10 out of 10. Hopefully we can see more of her in the next second game or wherever her next appearance could be. I would, I would think if Capcom would ever stop tripping and, stop and start making Darkstalkers again, because I really want to get into that too, but if they were to start making Darkstalkers again, I think Eliza would be a perfect fit for that world. And that is all the characters for this list. And I know a few of y'all are gonna be like, what? How does Biken not make the list? How does I know not make the list? Giovanna, are you insane? Look, I know, a lot of people like Guilty Gear. Me, personally, I don't see the appeal to Guilty Gear. I don't understand why people do like Guilty Gear. Like, I understand it's a long time running fighting game, but personally, I just don't see it. Now, 
I never played Guilty Gear, I don't know anything about it, but I will put them in the next video when we do fighting games right to wipe through part 3. Part 4? I don't know, I'm losing count. But anyway, so unless you're gonna cash at me some PSN money so I can go buy Guilty Gear on, you know, PS4, I'll be more than happy to, you know, play Guilty Gear, give you my thoughts and opinions about it, and then, you know, just and even make an extra video about how I feel about Guilty Gear Strive. If you want to do that, Cash App is down below if you want to, but again, I just don't personally see the appeal of Guilty Gear. That That's just me. Not saying that's a bad game, I just personally don't see it. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. Also follow me on Twitter. And I also have a new TikTok because the old one got banned. <laughs> you pretty much could guess why. And hopefully you will donate to the channel if you can as well. Links are in the description below. And until then, this is your boy Jay. Sign off. Have a blessed day. Baby, say my name as if you got a fucking clue. Always caught up in the moment, not condoning what I do. I've been messing with my chemistry to find the better me. Putting thoughts up on the page in hopes that you could get to me. Been this way since legit. My brain couldn't quit. Running from my issues, roll the pain in a split. Fade away every hit. Nobody needed me to afraid to commit.